Lately, I've been getting back into sports games, more specifically the NHL games. Now, I do have NHL 16, but I wanted to go back in time, back as far as I could on the 360 generation of hockey games. That means that I'm currently playing NHL 2K6, which was released on September 6, 2005, originally for the PlayStation 2 and Xbox, but was later released as a launch title for the 360. So that means technically we're looking at early next gen for the year 2005. Now I'll believe that this is my first 2K NHL game that I've ever played, so I'm interested to see how this game feels and plays as opposed to what EA has shown me in the past. Now according to the rest of the internet, this game is apparently pretty decent. It scored a 75 on Metacritic and not surprisingly IGN gave it a 7.5 as well. On the cover we got goalie Marty Turco who back in 05 won a career best of 41 games with the Dallas Stars. Welcome to my world. It's just you and me. You must have a hundred moves running through your mind. And I love it. This is mine now. And you <laughs> don't stand a chance. It's time to break this kid's spirit. Now Campoli unable to keep that in there. Turco nearly gave it away for Williams. He did. It's four nothing. Comes out to get this puck. He tries to air mail it up and over. Jason Williams gloves it down. Rolling puck. Wide open cage. Now, one of the first things that I noticed yeah. about this game is that it only has five achievements, which apparently, if you use a dummy controller, you can pretty quickly rack up all 1,000 gamer score. You know, if you care at all about achievements. Uh, this game was five bucks at GameStop, so if you want to pick this game up for some easy gamer score, you know, I feel you on that, bruh. Now, I guess we should start off with the graphics just to get it out of the way first. Now, if you're coming off NHL 17 or anything somewhat recent, of course you're going to be shocked when you play this game. I mean, it was 12 years ago, guys. That being said, everything on ice doesn't look too bad. The only thing that will make you laugh or cry is the crowd. You'll see a lot of twinning, and it's actually kind of hilarious. If you were to compare this game to say how NHL 06 looked at the time, I think it's clear that EA's game looked a bit cleaner and more fluid than 2K6 did. Which, keep in mind that NHL 06 was never released on the 360, it was only released on the PS2. So, you know, for 2K6 being the game that was supposed to help kick off the 360, it didn't really look all that impressive. Helmets and reflections look pretty good, but overall it's pretty much just 2005 standard affair. Something I did like, however, was the audio. Everything sounded a lot better than I thought it would, and the commentary from Bob Cole and Harry Neal is pretty fucking lit, and goes well with the roar of the crowd. You know, slap shots, shooting, uh, skates on the ice, it all sounds pretty good, and a lot better than I thought it would sound for a game of this caliber. Oh, and the soundtrack is interesting. There's some of what I guess you would call classics. You know, it's essentially rock, and the majority of the songs are fun to listen to, but, you know, it quickly becomes repetitive and might actually annoy you a little bit. But, I mean, that's to be expected. I'm really loving this menu music. I don't know if you can hear this. Is that a fucking sax? I love it, man. Now, on the ice, things are very fast-paced and brutal. There's a lot of big hits in this game. Um, well, it's hockey, so you saw that coming. But you're constantly having defenders coming at you fast. You can't hold the puck for too long. The AI can be pretty aggressive. You have to be careful with your puck possessions and passing. Even on the pro difficulty, the AI can make you work for it until you get comfortable with the flow of the game. As far as movement goes on the ice, it's all pretty basic. You know, stick handling feels nice once you get it down. You know, when playing against the AI, I realized that scoring on a breakaway was actually somewhat challenging but passing and one-timers are fucking lethal, and they left me clinching my butthole on several occasions. While playing NHL 2K6, there were some on-ice elements that kind of stood out to me, such as the role of the enforcer who, similar to real hockey, you know, he delivers big hits and offers a key element of the game, which is intimidation. Intimidated players tend to play a bit worse, 
So it's important to take control of your enforcer to help tip things in your favor. If you're playing with default settings, fights will hardly break out unless you use your enforcer. I've only fought twice in this game, mostly due to the fact that I always forgot to take control of my team's enforcer. As far as the fighting goes, I mean, it's pretty standard shit. You punch each other in the face. Afterwards, you get an endurance boost, which I guess is an incentive to use your enforcer, but I never really felt the need to. I never really remembered to. So it's, it's something you'll probably forget about. Now, another standout feature that was advertised for this game is the ability to control the goalie on the fly. During play, clicking in the right stick enables you to see a cone of vision and awareness towards play, and if a player takes a shot, you have actually a split second to try and block the puck. It's a neat feature and can be fun to use, although I found it more in my favor to keep control of my defenders, because switching from goalie to player can be disorienting, and it only takes, you know, a split second for somebody to get that one-timer in when you're fucking around trying to figure out if you should be the goalie or the defenseman. So I just, usually I avoided using the goalie, and um, I wasn't very good at it to begin with, so I never really felt the need to control him to begin with. Now, NHL 2K6 has a decent amount of modes to choose from, but you, you know, you're not going to be spending much time you know, doing franchise or anything like that. In fact, I spent most of my time playing on the pond and mini rink, which is probably the most fun I had when I was running the Forsberg and Gagne setup. It was really fun just to play on those small rinks and you know, get high scoring goals and big hits. It was it's kind of hilarious to play. And definitely the most fun I had in the game was doing this. Manhandled. But he still has a puck, so I guess that's all that matters. Hasek, clear that shit. I got it from here. Oh my goodness. That was fucking gold. I'm sorry. Oh my. I just yelled. It probably uh, distorted the microphone again. Oh my gosh. Anyways, chances are you'll be buying this game out of the discount bin or finding it in the closet when you're digging through it. So you'll probably play it twice on quick play and then sell it back to GameStop for a solid 37 cents. Because you don't like the fact that you can't use your fucking precious skill stick and you can't open your precious packs. Anyways, the game was five bucks. Why am I even talking about it? Do you even care? You don't. In all fairness, this game was pretty hyped though. I had a lot of fun learning uh, the techniques on how to stick, handle, and pass. You know, you gotta keep in mind that I'm fairly new to the NHL genre. Hell, I'm new to the sport as a whole. Yeah, this game helped teach me the basics, man. Anyways, buy it at GameStop. Now it's time to go to NHL 07. Hype. Down, rolling puck. Wide open cage.